Flave City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in the parking lot here at Aldi. Uh, we're gonna do another fun video where we shop and then go home and make recipes. Uh, we've been doing more of these lately and I'm gonna keep doing a lot more because they are awesome to make. Uh, so here's the deal. Part one of the video, we go into Aldi. We buy all the healthy, Bobby approved, budget-friendly items and then go home and make a spice-crusted chicken breast on top of brothy brown rice and quinoa with a cheese sauce. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be healthy and delicious and it's super easy. Uh, before we go into Aldi and do our thing, like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. But I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link in the description box. Thrive is a six year supporter of my channel. And the reason why I love Thrive, pretty much anything you can get at any grocery store is on Thrive, but cheaper. You save about $32 per order and the box comes to your door. You don't even have to go to the store if you don't want to. More importantly, Right now, Flav City fans are getting the hookup. When you click the link in the description box, you get 25% off your first order, a free gift, and it's 30 days risk-free. If you don't love it, no risk, no foul. Try it out, use my link down below. Now, less talking, more shopping. Let's go into Aldi. Let's start off with maybe my favorite product in all of Aldi, it's this. It's the 90 second pre-cooked quinoa and brown rice packet. It's organic, it's already made for you. It's 8.8 .8 ounces for a shockingly low price of $2.29. What's also shocking is the ingredients. When I discovered this a couple years ago, I was like, wow, wow, wee, wow, because ingredients are next level. But look at the oil. It's organic olive oil and it's organic brown rice and red quinoa. It's a complex carbohydrate. Whereas if you went to something like this, the basmati rice, this is white rice. To me, this is dead food. It has no nutrition. This is complex carbohydrates. Um, I use this in my still best-selling five ingredient cookbook available on Amazon with almost 9,000 five-star reviews now because it's a best uh, friend to a home cook. You have this in your pantry and you can make something really quick like I am. I'm gonna add some bone broth to this, some cheese. It's gonna be great. This stuff is fantastic. They also usually have another one, some organic seven grains. This is a good one too, but because we're gluten-free at home, I would get this one. It is fantabulous. We're gonna make a spice crusted chicken breast and the choice is clear in my opinion at Aldi. Boom goes the dynamite. The organic chicken breast here, you have two options, whole chicken breast and here we go, chicken tenders. I prefer the whole breast and hello, is this a manager special here? $5.79 per pound? That's a really good deal because the regular, these are not organic chicken breast, are $4.29. These are gonna be GMO uh, feed. These are gonna be organic, non-GMO. What's cool is I'll show you how to pound those thin and cook them in a hot pan so it's juicy and you don't dry out. That is a really, really good deal. Um, also, a better deal, if you haven't tried the pasture-raised chicken box on Thrive Market, keep in mind, almost no grocery store has pasture-raised chicken. Even though it's organic, it's from a chicken that really never goes outside. It's in that big warehouse. At least it has an organic feed. Pasture-raised chicken is the opposite. It only lives outside. It's free to forage. Then the supplemental feed is non-GMO and the flavor and texture is way better. The funny thing is, they lowered the price on Thrive Market of the pasture-raised box and it was sold out for two months. It's back. It's about $5.50 per pound because it's 15 and a half pounds for $90. So $5.50 per pound for pasture-raised versus $5.80 per pound for the breast. This is okay. But when you try Thrive Market using my promo link down below, you get another 25% off on top of that and the free gift. That chicken is legit. So use my promo link, try it out. But if you're here at Aldi, this is what you want to get, the organic chicken breast for the win. I was thinking of mixing the brothy quinoa and brown rice with pesto, but unfortunately, just like most store-bought pestos, this one here, see how the main oil is olive? Then it has the dreaded, highly processed, highly inflammatory sunflower oil, which is a bummer. So you might ask yourself, self, why is there olive oil and sunflower oil too? Well, what would Mr. Wonderful say on Shark Tank? money, right? Sunflower oil is cheap, but 
like canola oil. It has no flavor. It's neutral flavor. So yes, they'll put some olive oil in there, but then because olive oil is expensive, they'll back it up or fortify it with neutral flavored sunflower oil, which is really, really bad for your health. Unfortunately, 90% of store-bought pestos uh, have that kind of cruddy oil. So uh, like Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank, for that reason, I'm out. I'm going to pass on that. So we'll figure something out later on, but we do need some bone broth for our brothy grain packet here. And I don't necessarily see it. Let's see this one. This is organic beef bone broth, and this is organic chicken bone broth. I don't think it's gonna be Bobby approved. So here, see that one ingredient there? Caramel coloring. It's so ridiculous. The sole purpose of caramel coloring is to make broth look brown like that. That's why colas always have caramel coloring. The problem is some people consider it a carcinogen and it's something I wouldn't want to put in my body. Some, I don't know, maybe it's seasonal. Some all these do have bone broth with no caramel coloring. I don't see it now. That being said, it's still better than something like that. That's going to be way uh, inferior. And because it's bone broth, it's made with the organic bones, which are loaded with collagen and gelatin and something called chondroitin, which is good for your gut bacteria. And collagen is really, really fortifying and good for uh, your body. So if you're at Aldi, I'd still go with that one. That being said, I'm gonna put this one back because, yeah, because at home I have a bunch of kettle and fire bone broth that is best in class ingredients. So if you're here, get that. I'm just gonna skip on that because I don't wanna put uh, any caramel coloring in my body. Chicken breasts are bland. They need some help in the flavor department. So let's make a spice rub here. What do we got? Okay, here, I'm gonna go to the organic section. I love ground turmeric, a beautiful color, but also turmeric is uh, anti-inflammatory. I'll get some ground cumin and then let's mix that with like an Italian seasoning. Where's that? Normally it's right here, it's sold out, but actually I have one of these in my pantry at home. So Italian seasoning mixed with these, you're good to go. Um, look, I was thinking maybe we can put this into the brothy grain packet too. This is a, it's a good idea, stir in paste basil. But look, once again, even though it's made with organic basil, it's got the nasty sunflower oil. So that's a no on that too, but the spices are a yes. Back to my favorite aisle, the Aldi Fines. And this is a great opportunity to try this. We talked about it the other week. It's what I'm calling probably the best extra virgin olive oil here at Aldi. It's the single origin, single varietal extra virgin olive oil. That's a good price, $6 for 17 fluid ounces here. What I mean is, see how this says, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm not butchering it, Arbiquena. See how that says Piqual. That means it's one variety of olives only. It's not a mix and it's only from Spain. That's what you want when it comes to olive oil. So let's try to get this and cook our food in there. I think it's a very decent quality, especially for Aldi. And that's definitely a good price. Hello, hello, governor. I know what we're gonna put in the brothy grains. We're gonna put cheese, oh, cheese, bone broth, and the brown rice and quinoa. This is their version, Aldi, of Kerrygold Dubliner. It's Irish grass-fed milk cheese. It's seven ounces for $3.59. This is gonna be great, fold it into that hot brothy grains. Now keep in mind, it's not 100% grass fed, um, but it's just like Kerrygold. It's Irish cheddar, it's about 80% grass fed. During inclement weather in the winter, they do give grains. I can't still figure out if it's GMO or non-GMO, I gotta figure that out. But compared to any other cheese here, this is gonna be the best because 80% grass fed and pasture raised is the way to go. So that's fantastic, we'll get some of that. All right, we got everything from the shopping list. Let's go home and let's cook. Let's start off by pounding those chicken breasts a bit thinner. This will help them cook a little more evenly. We're gonna make a spice rub by adding some of the cumin to a small bowl, along with some turmeric and some of that Italian seasoning from Aldi. Give it a mix up and then season the chicken with a liberal amount of good quality salt and some of the spice rub and then a drizzle of that olive oil and then rub it in. That way the marinade really does some work. Flip the chicken over and do the same thing on the other side. While the chicken's marinating, preheat a nonstick pan with a drizzle of that olive oil and then add two packets of the brown rice and quinoa mixture along with some salt, some pepper, and warm it up for a couple minutes. And then add one cup of bone broth and cook it for about 10 minutes over medium low heat. Grate about one cup of that grass-fed cheddar cheese and then add it to the pan. Stir the cheese in and cook it over low until it gets nice and melty and saucy. 
Meanwhile, let's get back to the chicken. Add some olive oil to a cast iron pan that's preheated. Add the chicken breast in. And then once they go in, just kind of push them down. That'll help the skin get nice and golden brown. After about five minutes, give them a flip. Ooh, that's, oh God, it's messy again. <laughs> that's a nice crust, but it's also extremely messy. Cook it for another few minutes with the uh, splatter guard on. Get them out of the pan. That's perfect. And let them rest for a few minutes. Okay, Rose has joined me for the chicken part here. It rested for five minutes. Then we slice them up. Look at that, you guys. Chicken breast is perfectly cooked. It's juicy as can be. And that spice crust is just beautiful. Looks like Rose likes it too. Go ahead and spoon some of the brothy, cheesy brown rice and quinoa on the plate. Add that sliced chicken right on top there. It looks perfect. And then take the juices from the plate, garnish on top. And that's it, my friends. Dinner is ready. It's good, right? Yeah, this looks amazing, you guys. It came out perfect. Mmm. Rose, high five to Daniel. Boom. Flavors on point. Textures on point. Healthy as can be. That is phenomenal. I'll type up the recipe. I'll put it in the description box. Make this recipe. It's fantastic. Um, also, check out thrivemarket.com. Their chicken box. I'm telling you, this is good chicken. Their pasteurized chicken is next level. When you click my link in the description box, you get 25% additional off your first order. A free gift, one of those free gifts is a bottle of Primal Kitchen avocado oil and a ranch, and it's 30 days risk-free. Try them out, you're gonna love it. Try this recipe out, you're gonna love it. If you have a recommendation for the next haul with a recipe, please let me know, but I will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, later.